We're going to use conditional formatting to illustrate the value of our data as it relates to all of the data in the selected range. Let's go ahead. We need to first, of course, select the data we want to apply the formatting to. So we're going to select this column, which is the amount of individual varieties of fish that have been sold by our store. We'll go up here on our home tab to the conditional formatting button. And we're going to start with data bars. And this is pretty simple. We're just going to roll over these and pick one that looks a color that we like, because they all do exactly the same thing. Let's select that one. And you can see quite easily exactly what I was saying. The ones that have the higher value have a longer data bar. So I can, at a glance, see how all of these relate to each other. All right, let's do another one. We're going to go ahead here. We'll go back to our conditional formatting, data bars. Let's take a look at more rules and see what else we can do. We can go ahead and select, first of all, a different color, but let's not worry about that right now. We're going to go ahead and the type is lowest value. What if we want to choose number, percent, formula, percentile? things like that. Now of course we just have we don't have percentages. Actually, it'll be the same if I choose number and pick a value. Let's say 0 to uh 1500. And let's pick a color. How about purple? That'll be nice. And now it shows us those data bars relative to that range we set, 0 to 1500. See the difference between this 1032 and, say, this 1032. Because this one is basing the top on 1500. This one is taking the highest value, which I believe is 1032 in here. Nope, it's 1104. And making that the top value. All right, let's go ahead and let's move down a little bit further. And let's select some more data. And we'll go, instead of our data bars, to color scales. Now, color scales, basically the same thing. But instead of data bars, it uses a range of colors. Now, let's take a look at this one here. Green, yellow, red color scale. Displays a two or three color gradient in a range of cells. The shade of the color represents the value in the cell. Now. When we look here, we see that the green is on top and the red is at the bottom. That means the green is going to be the highest values. And when I click on that, you can see exactly that. If I go ahead and I look through here, see like 900 is that dark green, 948, down to through that color range, the lowest, well, there's a zero, which is that dark red. I can also go ahead, let's take a look here, and change it so that the red is the highest value. And watch as I change these, you can see what's happening. The reds are the highest value. In this one, my blue is the highest and red is the lowest. This one here, the yellow is the highest, the orange is the lowest, and so on. I can even go ahead here you'll see I can go ahead and I can change it to a three color scale if I want. And just like we saw before, change the colors. How about something like that? So you can be really creative, but they all basically show us the same thing. How our data relates to each other. And that's our conditional formatting, data bars, and color scales. Thanks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. For more great Microsoft Office tutorials, subscribe to TrainSignal's YouTube channel, TrainSignal Office. Or you can visit www.trainsignal.com for more information regarding our complete Microsoft Office training library.